One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. A couple of weeks ago, I did a market sentiment piece and uh, it was really focused on the QQQ and the SPY, right? And so like the QQQ, like the Q, I'm just going to call it the Qs, right? The Qs had a little bit of discrepancy with the SPY. The SPY was kind of pushing at all time, you know, kind of borderline pushing all time highs. But the, the Qs were still struggling from that tech sell off, trying to get its footing, uh, trying to get its footing back, right? And, but, I, but I thought that the key ticket for um, the market to kind of come back, like was going to be um, the the higher low on 310 after seeing a 320 reject. That's gonna be the golden ticket for confidence and sentiment in the market again. Uh, and I thought like at the like right as I did the webinar, like it was kind of a red day and I was and I was thinking that the red day would hold. Uh, you know, like if anything under 310 was okay of a hold. Um, if we saw 305, I thought that would be drastically unhealthy. Um, and then I had a backup scenario that if we did do that, as long as we held 300, I think we channel for a little bit, but, um, if, if we held, I think that the market feels confident. Um, and so, you know, this was coming off of the, like two weeks ago, this was right after like those stimmies kind of hit like a week after the stimmies hit, but I felt that it was kind of anticlimactic, right? Like the stimmies hit, but like the sentiment was so shit that it really didn't even matter at all just to make sure I am recording, right? Yeah. Like it didn't even really matter. Like nothing changed. Like everything's still like, it, we didn't have that, that euphoria at all. And that's because like, you know, everything that everyone was buying was just kind of in the shits. Like all of the, all of the tech stocks were just in the, in, in the shitter. And that just kind of, that kind of like trickled down into like, you know, you know, just buyer's confidence all around. We saw that in small cap land a little bit even too. And so, you know, it felt like we needed a shakeout. Um, and a little bit of good news wouldn't have hurt. Um, I don't think we got any really good news this week. Um, so we didn't get that. Like, I'd feel a lot better if like we had some kind of good news. Like, I think, I think there, there was one good news I think that came out this week is that like, like Bloomberg put it out that, um, that the earnings projections um, uh, for 2021 is supposedly really good. So, I mean, don't, don't quote me on that, but I believe I, I, I read Bloomberg articles every day. So I think I saw that that week and that was pretty, that was pretty, pretty positive. So we'll see uh, right now. I actually think that there's a, like, let's look at the cues. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at my investing club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up, back to the video. So, and the reason why I'm focusing on the cues instead of the spy is because the spy is fine. Right? The spy is like absolutely fine. You know, the spy never, I mean, this is the pullback. There was never really any fear on the spy, but the cues drastically got hurt, right? And that's kind of what I'm focusing on just because that's like, that's, they kind of pull, they kind of feed off each other. Right. And so like, I, I thought that it was good. That the spy was at all time highs. And I think the spy being at all time highs is kind of dragging the cues up a little bit, kind of, you know, giving a little support system for this bump up. But this is, this is what I was talking about a couple of weeks ago. I was talking about like, I think this is the ticket, this 320 reject, but the 310 hold. And this is like this kind of shakeout day that I was talking about. This is that shakeout day that I thought we might need, but as long as we stayed away from 305, I thought we were good. That's basically exactly how this panned out. You know, we, we kind of did a little slippage under 310. The next, like this, I believe was the webinar day, 324, right? What was the webinar day, right? Oh, 325 is the webinar day. Yeah, so we were like right here, it's this little slippage under here and that 310 hold, now and and you know the spies at all time highs this is kind of pulling the confidence up the only thing i wish could be better is i don't know like it i don't know the, the inflation fear is still looming i think that's still on everybody's mind like i don't think that's gone um from everybody's mind 
So like, it's not like we're in the same kind of bubble that we were in like here or here. I do think that this push up here is going to be a little bit shakier than maybe than maybe some of the other ones, just because we still have that that kind of inflation fear, I think. But it should be an uptrend. I think it still should continue. So I'm going to be looking um, at swings, you know, just possible potentials over the weekend and just seeing, hey, if, if I want to dip my toes and stuff. But, um, oh, no, what's up here? He's not here. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to start looking for swing opportunities again and, um, you know, slowly build into it because I do think, like, I, I think that there's a lack of, I think there's a lack of over the hump type of news that we're missing. And I don't know what that could be. I'm, I'm trying to think of things in the future. Like what could it be? It might need to be realization of earnings. Like I know every, like everyone's pretty much for the most part back to work, but maybe some, like maybe this next earnings season, like we just, um, that comes up, you know, if that kind of cements it, it might, that might be the over the hump news for the, for that, for that confidence. Like, Hey, maybe we can get back on track. So I don't know, that's the only, like, I like the chart, but it's, I don't know, just, it, this could just be my own, my own, uh, you know, like back of the mind worries, but it feels like it's a, like it's an empty chart. Like it's good. It feels like the spies pulling the cues up again and that's good. But, you know, if we have bad news, is, is the market going to react more to bad news than it would good, you know, as positive to good news? I think that like, it's still on the bad news side, any kind of bad news. And like, we're immediately under 320 and a, I'm like, I can easily see a stronger red candle than we do a green candle. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.